Hello. Hello. These are the new Strix apartments. When you go in, there is a small entrance hall and then a big and then a wardrobe here for coats. A big fridge. See this? And then you get in the main space where you have a normal sized kitchen. This is the this is the wardrobe. Then you have a big big window and a big main area that is empty because uh, these apartments are unfurnished. And then you get a big full sized bathroom, which is actually pretty nice. We are in our new SSSB apartment. As you can see, we are now in the storage room. Everyone has at least one cell, uh, but most of the apartments have two. So you can pay your semester fee in a student association, depending on your uh, university. So it's a different one if you're in KDH, in Stockholm University, or in Karlitz. Uh, after you pay, you are allowed to create a student account in SSSB.sc. SSSB is a, an organization that's run by the government and you queue up to gather days in order to find a student apartment after you've been living here some time. It is usually really difficult to find an apartment if you queue up for less than a hundred days, let's say. So in order to find these apartments, which are actually really cheap, and that's the idea that if you're a student, you pay up to 500, up to 5,000 sec uh, per month to live in these apartments. Mostly it's around 3,000, but if you want a bigger one or a newer one, then you must pay more. So now we're in the Strix uh, area. How far is it from Berlinsk? It's about 20 minutes from Karlinska, it's not that far. There is also buses and the metro station nearby, so you can go uh, Around us you can see the two new buildings, Strix, which are the more expensive ones, and only have studios. And you have to queue up for more than 500 days, let's say, on average, to find a place here. And back there is the, the, old, the old Strix, it's only furnished apartments or unfurnished or unfurnished rooms there are bathroom but you have shared kitchen it's around eight rooms for a kitchen but it's really cheap and most people can find a room there after a year of studying in Sweden or maybe less a semester and a half if so maybe around 260 days for the of, of, of credit dates for the old Strix and maybe around 500 for the new Strix. The old is cheaper, the new is more expensive, but then you get your own kitchen and your own bathroom. And two people can live in there together. Only, only in the new apartments yeah. and only if it is a studio. Exactly. If it's a student room, mm -hmm. then it's not allowed for two people. Exactly. So that's uh, so it's obvious why we chose the new ones <laughs> and the more expensive ones. Here you can see the laundry room. We do not have access at this point because you have to uh, book it beforehand, even to enter the room. So everything is really secure around the SSSB apartments. You usually get two laundry machines and two dryers each time you book it, and it's around three hours. And basically, all the apartments have just an, a door outside. Now you can see some people outside. Uh, and you go out on a balcony, and then you enter your um, your own apartment right from outside. So you always need to be wearing a coat. Don't forget that. And the system is secure because you have an electronic... Uh, key system, Alkis will demonstrate, <laughs> cool, for the ground floor and as well for your own floor. Um, and that's it basically.
<laughs> I just couldn't figure out the child block. <laughs> Why? Why? Hello, people. I'm tying my shoelace. I'm tying my shoelace. <laughs> okay, so if you are a student in Stockholm, then you can subscribe and to our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> we have no letters. <laughs> Nima. <laughs>